EA Sports. It's in the game. Young Gerald, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Die line, die line with the boom pal. Every week now I switch to a new style. Two twelves in the back just blew out. Everything I do end up in the news now. Yeah, lead a club with a few now. Just some Hollywood and they do. I'm, I'm in the mood now. Two a.m. What you wanna do now? Hmm? What you wanna do uh, now? Little baby, pass. Don't spill on me. That's Margella. Got this Oakland game to tell her. She look familiar. I call Chella. What's her name? Isabella. It's a, uh, forget it. Yeah. It's like a week ago, but we both know how weekends go. Trying to function, got some places we could go. Lot y'all got me speaking slow, like me. Yeah, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I don't GA. I'm trying to. Yes on, yes on, yes on, yes. Say less. Say less. You ain't got, you ain't got, you, you, you 
ain't no say less. Yeah. <laughs> say less. Hey girl, what it do do? If you got friends, cool, bring a few through. No fun if the homies man, R.I.P. Nate Dark, this too true. And you know what I'm down for. Round two, round three, and a round four. Move switch when she knocked at the front door. Next up was the uproar. Yeah. Was like a week ago, but we both know how weekends go. Trying to talk, I've got some places we could go. Swear she got the d like wow. She's blessed, I'm blessed. I don't GA. You trying to. Yes, on, yes, on, yes, on, yes. <laughs> Say less. Sheesh. What you saying? I don't understand. I understand. I'm out my mind. I popped. popped, popped. Sheesh. I swear this lock shot got me stuttering. Girl, you so you so I fall in love again. Sheesh. Get it. Get it. Fuck my favorite rush. You talkative. Ain't got to say too much. Be quiet. Who got some grace? I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm out all for these. Not complicated, no conversation, get it, not complicated, no conversation, please say less, please say less, please say less, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I don't GA, you trying to, yes on, yes on, yes on, yes, say less. And hello again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon here in the booth. And, Chuck, you take a look at this matchup. I don't know if it's going to be one in the trenches from the quarterbacks out, whatever. It's going to be a good game. Oh, without a doubt. I can't wait to see the big fellas have an impact. We're always spotlighting those wide receivers and quarterbacks and running backs and even the defensive backs. But the big guys, I can't wait to see which one tilts the balance for their team. Here's the punter, Sam Martin, now ready to get us started. And we are underway from Ford Field. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Brady now on first down. The left side completion to Jones. 13 yards on the game's opening play. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They go play action here on first down. They'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Brady now on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, I don't mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Now Brady throwing on second down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And out of bounds right around the 20. 
It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves. And looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brent Grimes. Touchdown. That's certainly not something we see often from number 12, Tom Brady, although we did see it in Super Bowl 51. And that's why it's so memorable, because of what you just said. It doesn't happen very often. And think of the momentum that you gain as a defense, not only picking off Tom Brady, but pick six. Oh, boy, you feel good about yourselves. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much, right? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. But I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six on the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Got him right back in the saddle and said, go ahead and sling it, big guy. Brady will try again on second down. He's going to let this one go deep. And got his man complete. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it, no one got it. And he comes back with one complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Again, it's Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think there he had to come off of his primary receiver in a big way, just trying to get it to a secondary guy, unable to get that play completed. Checked down, but didn't even have enough time to do that. Incomplete. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. When Leonard Williams was picked in the 2015 NFL Draft, I compared him to Merlin Olsen. And I got a lot of grief about it. Did you just see that play there? Did you see how he made that move and made that tackle? 
That was Merlin Olsen-esque yeah, you right just, there. I just perked up when you said Merlin Olsen. Yeah, a lot of people said, hey, that's too much, too far, and maybe it is early, but I think this guy has a chance of fulfilling that. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Shotgun now for Brady. And it's caught. Touchdown. Deshaun Jackson from 13 yards out. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. On first down, Brady. He dumps it down to Ingram. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? And he's into the clear. The 30. 10 for touchdown. Vernon Davis, 71 yards, and his guys have taken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. This fielded at the two. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Brady to throw on second down. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Throwing is Brady on third down. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. On first and ten, here's Brady. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely 
you're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horoscope off? Is biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? Over the middle to Beckham. Odell Beckham Jr. And all the way in for the touchdown.